All right, Shalom, Shalom. Let's say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers pushing the word throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, this is Todd Yoff, Jim S. Boston, coming back with a quick and prompt, too. And uh, <coughs> this is it, man. This this is the signs that Yahweh Shai. Uh, uh, foretold through the scriptures about the the end of one king, kingdom, right, and the the rising of the Israelites back into their rightful state, and <clears throat> the promise that was given to Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob, okay. For the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right. And I'm going to start off with this scripture right here. Okay. One second. This is Jeremiah 51. And I'll start at 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her. Pain, if so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches on to heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay? And um, the reason for bringing that out, man, is this, this is future prophecy right here. Okay? And from what we can see from today's events that's going on, Okay, these uh, nations are toppling one by one. Okay. The IMF is, is, is ousting prime ministers out of all these uh, nations. Okay. And then it's going to get down to uh, uh, the BRICS nations last. And the BRICS nations is going to give them a run for their money, so to speak, because they're not using currency in the way that uh, the IMF would like it to go. And then ultimately, it's going to be the MOTB in the end, the mark of the beast. But uh, I just want to want to focus in on a couple of things. Because in the scriptures, it says uh, we would have healed Babylon, okay? But we got uh, Crazy Joe, okay? He's he's bringing this, <laughs> this prophecy to light, man, and he can't get away from it, okay? Now, I just opened up an article on news. Uh, this article right here, it says... Biden fist bumps Saudi crown prince on trip that seeks to reset ties. Okay. And a fist bump when it's supposed to be diplomatic purposes is not acceptable. Okay. And etiquette. All right. And this is this is why we always say the treaties that America makes always breaks and that's babylon the great okay for for some of y'all uh that's new to this america is aka babylon the great sodom and gomorrah and egypt okay all rolled into one okay let's read down it says uh jadah saudi arabia July 15, U.S. President Joe Biden gave a fist bump to Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam, Salaman on Friday. State television showed during a trip to Saudi Arabia that is being watched for body language and rhetoric as Washington seeks to reset relations. White House officials have worked hard on the optics of the meeting between Biden and the Crown Prince known as MBS. Okay. 
who Biden has criticized for his role in the killing of Washington Post journalist and political opponent Jamal Khashoggi. Okay. And right there, that's <laughs> that's a recorded event that happened. Okay, he called this man a killer <laughs> on national TV. Now he's going over there to beg for mercy. All right. They said in the end, it was a fist bump and wordless exchange in front of the king's royal palace in Jeddah. That is likely to be the defining image of the visit by the U.S. president who once promised to make Saudi Arabia a para state. OK, let's look up what that word para means. An outcast state. See, he didn't talk to all this shit. Now he's trying to go over there and, and make some deals. Says the president aide suggested before he landed in Israel, the first leg of his trip, that Biden would avoid handshakes during his trip due to the rapidly spreading new, you know what, subvariant. But within minutes of his arrival in Israel, Biden dispensed with the rules and was shaking hands. See? In Israel, he was shaking hands. You see, he continued shaking hands during the Israel visit before heading to Saudi Arabia. For some reason, Biden's political team thinks a fist bump is less of a statement of friendship than a handshake and plan to have him fist bump everyone in order to make it less notable that he wasn't shaking MBS's hands, said Christians. Fontaine Rose, a fellow of foreign relations at the Atlantic Council and for, former Trump administration official. Okay. During the Saudi visit, Biden is expected to discuss human rights, one of several issues that stand, strain ties after U.S. intelligence concluded the Crown Prince directly approved the 2018 murder of Washington Post communist Jamal Khashoggi. The crown prince denies having any role in the killing. All right. That's enough of that. So, basically, MBS is not making no deals with America. He sees them for the dogs that they are. All right. And it's it's a no-go with whatever they're saying. They don't want to use the, the U.S. money anyways because it, it, the value is falling. In all these uh, westernized countries, okay? And the only place that the dollar is strong is here in, in the United States of America. So, they can't be bothered with anymore, all these uh, countries. All right, that's plain and to the point. That's why I brought out that scripture. Now, on the other hand, we know that Esau Edom is uh, treacherous. Okay, <laughs> and his his day is coming, man. He's going to be put down like a dog that he is, and it's it's not that far away. Okay, and we can see the writing on the wall, and all aspects of of Daniel's. Okay, mini mini, Tico, uh, McPherson. All right. In more ways than one. Okay. So this place is out of here man. This, this place is. And Satan's falling like lightning. Like it said he would. Okay. And it's all because of what? Debt. He set debt traps for everybody else. But he's going to be the last one to fall inside of his. Uh, his debt trap. Okay. Let me grab these two scriptures and that's going to be it, man. The writing's on the wall. Like I said, it's, it's done. It's done. It's a done deal for Babylon the Great. Done. All right. And, and men of the Lord, Lord's will, we are those men. We're, we're happy about it, man. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, in all his magnificence. Okay, 
Yahawashah's return will be swift. Okay. And, and, and great judgment is about to befall on this place, man. Okay. Let me get this. This is Isaiah 33 and 1. It says, Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and thou dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Okay? And that's what, <laughs> man, it, it, we know what this is leading to. This is leading to, you know, the bombardment of Babylon the Great with ICBM missiles, okay, to turn it into the lake of fire. And there's nothing more that can be said about it, you know. Clear and directly to the point, man. It said that this place was going to be. Let's let's get it. <clears throat> this place was going to be brought down by means of its so-called fake money system. And that's what you're seeing. All right. This is Habakkuk 2 and 6. It says, shall not all these take up a parable against him? And a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increased that which is not his, how long unto him that dealeth lit that leadeth lead, himself with thick clay. Right? And that, that clay is is going into uh debt. Alright. Let me go to it. Oh yeah, this is this is this is going to be uh a show no one wants to miss. <laughs> there it is right there. Outlong line of biblical uh uh usage. Weight of pledges or heavy debts. Okay? And the weights of pledges are these treaties, man. Okay. They make these these promises to these nations and they break every last one of them. So the end result of it is going to be their downfall. Okay. Just like it said in Isaiah 33, okay? So we we're, we're witnessing the downfall uh of of Satan. Let's get that. As we as we uh tune in every day to the, the to the news, to the prophecies popping off like popcorn and following along in the scriptures, okay? Sabaki Brothers. Go right to the point. You see it right there, Matthew eleven, twenty and twenty-four. Right? And go down and he said and he said unto them this is Luke 10 and 18 I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven okay 
So that's how fast this 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 place is going to be out of here, man. All right. And it's it's a numeral scriptures that's coming into play. You got second Ezra 15, 16. You got a uh, uh uh all these things about the calamities about to strike hard, man, hard. Okay. They can't get anybody to be on their side. You know, everybody's about to flip on Babylon the Great. Because the weight of those pledges, okay, promises that weren't met or kept, okay, treacherous dealings with, with these, uh, these other countries, making them drink strong drink and then pointing and laughing at them. Now look at them. Okay, they're backed by uh, Putin's uh, bricks. Okay, that only follow. They're gonna follow the gold, the gold, uh, the measure of gold. That's what they're gonna do. Circumventing the uh, the paper money. So it's all coming down to the wire, man. I just just want to do that little quick uh, synopsis of what's happening in the news when it comes to uh, Babylon the Great trying to uh, broker these new deals. Nobody trusts this man anymore. <laughs> Nobody. You know, they see the circus that's going on here in Babylon the Great. All right, you got uh, these other nations falling, Peru. Uh, the other one, the other day, Sri Lanka, and more to come, man. And it's all based off that that money system that they had working. So it's, it's nothing to broke a wit when it comes to Esau Edom going abroad trying to make these deals, man. Nobody trusts them. The people that do trust them, they're getting ready to flip on them. So, with that, that's why I brought out this last scripture, Luke 10 and 18. That's what we're witnessing, brothers, okay? So, with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakah Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom, Ababa Ba, and Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.